हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व एक्स पावर फोर प्लस एक्स पावर टू प्लस फोर हंड्रेड एटी फोर डिवाइड बाई एक्स पावर फोर प्लस एक्स पावर टू प्लस टू दिस इज इक्वल्स टू फोर्टी टू एंड हियर वी विल फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स एंड एक्स बिलोंग्स टू रियल नंबर लुक केयरफुल इन लेफ्ट हैंड साइड वी हैव एक्स पावर फोर प्लस एक्स पावर टू एंड हियर एक्स पावर फोर प्लस एक्स पावर टू प्लस टू इफ वी एड बोथ साइड टू देन इन लेफ्ट हैंड साइड एक्स पावर फोर प्लस एक्स पावर टू प्लस टू प्लस फोर हंड्रेड एटी फोर एंड डिवाइड बाय x power 4 plus x power 2 plus 2 and this is equals to 42 plus 2 is 44 look carefully this expression and this expression both expression are same so here if we apply substitution and if we substitute x power 4 plus x power 2 plus 2 this is equals to t then this expression is t plus 484 divided by t this is equals to 44 now We have t plus four hundred eighty four divided by t. This is equals to forty four. If we multiplied both side t, then in left hand side here t and in right hand side is also t, and t not equals to zero. This t is multiplied by t, then we get t square plus this t is multiplied by four hundred eighty four divided by t, then we get four hundred eighty four, and this is equals to forty four times t. Now if we take all the expression in same side. Then t square minus forty four times t plus four hundred eighty four and this is equals to zero. This is quadratic equation in terms of t. So here we will apply middle term split and then find out the value of t. Then t square minus forty four times t is minus twenty two times t minus twenty two times t plus four hundred eighty four and this is equals to zero. Look carefully first two terms. If we take common t, then we get t minus twenty two. And look carefully. These two terms, if we take common minus twenty two, then we get t minus twenty two, and this is equals to zero. Then here t minus twenty two, and here t minus twenty two. If we take common t minus twenty two, then we get t minus twenty two, and this is equals to zero. Then here t minus twenty two multiplied by t minus twenty two is t minus twenty two whole square, and this is equals to zero. Now we have t minus twenty two whole square. This is equals to zero, and we know that. If a square this is equals to zero, this implies value of a is equals to zero. So t minus twenty two whole square is equals to zero. It means t minus twenty two this is equals to zero, and value of t is equals to twenty two. Here, value of t is twenty two, and we know that t is x power four plus x power two plus two. So this t is replaced by x power four plus x power two plus two, and this is equals to twenty two. If we take all the expression in same side, then x power four plus x power two plus two minus twenty two, and this is equals to zero. Then this expression is x power four plus x power two. Two minus twenty two is minus twenty. This is equals to zero. Look carefully this expression. This is x power four plus x power two minus twenty. This is equals to zero. And x power four is x power two bracket power two plus x power two minus twenty. This is equals to zero. Now here we will apply substitution again. And if we substitute x power two, this is equals to t. Then t square plus t minus twenty. This is equals to zero. T square plus t minus twenty. This is equals to zero. This is quadratic equation. Here we will apply again middle term split. Then t square plus Five times t minus four times t minus twenty. This is equals to zero. Look carefully. First two terms. If we take common t, then here we have t plus five. And here if we take common minus four, then we get t plus five. And this is equals to zero. Now if we take common t plus five, then you will get t minus four. And this is equals to zero. Here we can say t plus five is equals to zero or T minus four. This is equals to zero. Then value of t is equals to minus five, and here value of t is equals to four. And we know that t is x square. So this t is replaced by x square. Then we get x square is equals to minus five, and this t is also replaced by x square. Then we get x square is equals to four. So look carefully. Here we will talk about only real solutions. So if x is real, then x square is positive, and right hand side is negative. So here the x does not belongs to real number. So this case is rejected. So we have x square is equals to four is two square, and we know that. If a square is equals to b square, this implies a is equals to plus minus b. If we apply this rule, then x square is equals to two square. It means x is equals to plus minus two. We have two possible values of x. First value of x is equals to two, and second value of x is equals to minus two. I hope you enjoy this video. See you in the next video. Till then, take care and bye bye.